fantastic day. There's some clouds coming in. It has been a warm 60 degrees yesterday and first thing today, but some clouds are coming in and I know snow's coming tonight. <gasps> Is snow coming? It's finally gonna start feeling like the holidays and I'm so excited. Our pretty blue 60 degree skies are leaving. And we got a bunch of big clouds coming in. I know there's snowstorms coming and I'm actually really excited. Um, but really quick, I wanted to show you some awesome ideas for Thanksgiving tablescapes. But you guys, I'm just gonna give you a few quick ideas really fast. I am not hosting Thanksgiving this year, so I really don't have to worry about setting a Thanksgiving table. But I wanted to give a few helpful tips that I have found work awesome for me. And a lot of them are free, you guys, which how can you be not spending any money on a beautiful tablescape for Thanksgiving? So really quick, I did talk about this in my Mom's Doing Mom Things Live yesterday, but a lot of you don't really follow us over there, so I thought I would just reiterate it. Instead of buying florals, you can find a lot of really great options at Dollar Tree and Walmart as far as, and like Michaels and Hobby Lobby and everything. However, my favorite are real Foliage. So I live in a super rural area, a little farm town. So it's easy for me to find things like this and cut them. You guys, these are just on the side of the road in my neighborhood. Like, I don't even know what these are called, but they're just the prettiest fall color. Some wheat sprigs. I thought they were so pretty. And then just an old gallon jar. Um, also pine cones. Work with what you've got, you guys. Go outside, explore, find things like this that you don't have to spend any money on. And they can just dress up a tablescape so nicely. You know, put them on your linen napkins, whatever you would like to do. Speaking of linen napkins, I got this six pack from TJ Maxx for $5.99. So you don't have to spend a ton of money and they were such fun fall colors. I just love them. Along with these plates and the serving tray, I have vlogged them before, but just showing you that you can get very inexpensive, beautiful fall themed dishes for very, very inexpensive prices. One of my absolute favorite places though to buy dishes, especially for the holidays, is Dollar Tree. They have beautiful chargers that go underneath your plate. They have beautiful plates and bowls and glasses. And you can find a lot of really nice things there. And for a dollar a piece, you can't really beat that price. So search around TJ Maxx, um, Target dollar spot. Keep your eye open for cheap things. Um, this big serving pl platter that I'm going to put my rolls in for Thanksgiving was also $5.99. It matches these plates. And I just thought it was so cute. This pumpkin was from TJ Maxx. I don't remember how much it was, but I know it was also fairly inexpensive. And it is very large and very heavy. And then these little pumpkins here were in the Target dollar spot for like 97 cents a piece. Again, those could be really cute. Um, on place settings or even if you dress up a big fancy centerpiece. So try to work, my number one tip, try to work with what you've got. Use the natural elements and foliage in your area because I honestly just believe they're the most beautiful. They just show what the weather and climate is like at that time outside and really bring in those fall feelings. So use that, spend no money on fake stuff. That's my number one tip. One more thing that I wanna show you really quick is this large, beautiful piece of driftwood. Again, found this outside near our home. It's so beautiful. I like to put it right in the center of my table and it even has this natural crack that you can stick like greenery, foliage. You could even put some candles in there. Um, so just use natural elements around your house and then as far as the dishes go, do not buy super expensive things. Like, keep it simple. It can still look beautiful and elegant. And those are my top Thanksgiving tablescape tips. What's up, guys? Did you just get home from school? Yep. What is that, Coco? Is that a dream catcher? Mm -hmm. Did you make it? Mm -hmm. I love it, dude. Yeah. Good work. What did you learn about dream catchers? Well, we just went to art and made them, though. They didn't tell you anything about them? No. <laughs> That's pretty cool, bud. I love it. Mom. We got to get you ready for wrestling practice. Mom. And you, cute boy, do you want to go to wrestling practice tonight? Yes? Okay, awesome. I made a star and then I, like, doubled it, but then I put, like, a square around it. That's awesome. I love it so much. I'm going to have you two go get practice clothes on, and I'm going to make you some food real quick, okay? This cute little tiny bean 
said, Mom, I wanna go practice wrestling. And I said, not tonight, buddy, because it's the junior high practice, so you gotta wait for the younger practice. And he said, okay, when it's the junior low practice, that's when I wanna go, huh? Not junior high, junior low. <laughs> I love you so much. I love her so much. Okay, dude, work hard. And you, work super hard. Mommy will be back, okay? I love you guys so much. Alrighty, I got the boys to practice, stopped at the grocery store, making some chili and cornbread in the oven for dinner. And this good looking's home. What up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She laughs at me a lot. No, it's okay. I, I, I understand. I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> hey! But like I just explained to Canyon, it's good when people laugh at you. Like It's fine. Like, being funny is a good thing. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> but I am going to finish up dinner real quick and this guy is gonna go catch the last little bit of the practice. Boys. Maybe get some cool footage. Alright, let's go get the boys. Bye! Love you! Love you. Oh. How was the first practice? Good. <laughs> tired? You tired? No. Kind of goofy looking though. <laughs> it's always fun seeing him work so hard at something. It's good for him. Good work. <laughs> Made it home, guys. Woo! Me and Ken and Tiny have been dancing. So I'm pulling up some dance videos to show Ken. <laughs> <laughs> You've been dancing? You can tell by your legs. Cohen just really wants to play soccer. We started today with me picking up my house. Some of my favorite times to clean and do housework are after the kiddos are in bed. My house is quiet. No one is messing up as quickly as I'm cleaning. And it's kind of just fun. I kind of just get to, I don't know, it's almost like therapeutic. I get to think about the day. I get to think about the things that made me happy. I get to think about the things that I need to work on and try harder to be better at tomorrow. And it's kind of just a good time of the day. But I wanted to say, as we are getting closer to Thanksgiving, that I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I am so grateful that you come here every day and that you just experience this journey of life with our family. And you have always been so kind and supportive and uplifting and encouraging to Cody and I and our kids, and it just means the world. So I really just wanted to say, we love you guys. We are so grateful for you. I hope that you had an awesome day. And just to everyone out there who is working hard every day to improve, to better your life, to help other people, you're doing an amazing job. I think about you every day, and I want you guys to know that we love you. I'm going to finish folding laundry and then I'm going to go in my room and do a little online Christmas shopping and hang out with my husband. But I hope you guys have had an awesome day and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. One more thing that I want to show you really quick. Oh. <laughs> wow. 
What is that, Coco? Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know why it seems so much darker in my house. My phone is ringing. Sorry, my sister's FaceTime a lot during the day. Um, so.